Pete French's Pea Ranch Round Barn in Southeast Oregon, Mahler County, near the Mahler Wildlife Refuge. Let's go inside and see if we can figure out some of this history. The history of Southeast Oregon is a short and violent history. And Pete French is a big part of that. And this is his barn built for his ranching operation. Before the Oregon Territory was established, of course, this was Indian country, primarily Paiute Indians. When the Oregon Territory was established in order to encourage settling of the West, a homesteading act brought settlers out here getting free land, 640 acres, one section of land for each homesteader. The folks that took up the government on that proposal were primarily <laughs> some fighting folks. Veterans of the Civil War from the South and veterans from the Spanish Civil Wars, the Basque folks, were some of the main settlers out in this in this wild country and barbed wire was not predominantly in production or in use yet so boundary disputes between these settlements were very common and often violent. In order to win the West and maintain some semblance of law and order, the cavalry was called in from a series of forts in the local area including Fort McDermott in Nevada, Fort Bidwell in the northeast corner of California and Fort Harney near present-day Burns, Oregon. Backed by uh, uh, a Dr. Glenn in San Francisco, Pete French came out here to establish a cattle empire. Through the use of force, intimidation, and a lot of money from San Francisco, Pete French was able to acquire huge tracts of land out here. The key to his success, though, was the employment of California vaqueros who knew how to do cattle ranching right out here in this country. And what Pete French did was each of his employees, upwards of 50 or 80 employees, he would have each of those employees acquire a homestead and then buy that homestead from that employee and thus skirt the law and acquire a huge tracts of land here on the west northwest corner of the Steen Mountains. The key to Pete's success as a cattle rancher out here was the use of those vaqueros because the cattle needed to be driven to market and to get to market from here you got to drive the cattle from northeast correction south east Oregon here near the Steens all the way out to Weed California where they can get on the railroad and get to market in order to further develop the ranching capability of this land you know it's arid sage it takes almost 240 acres I believe just to for a cow and a calf to range out here. Huge amounts of land. Pete French also developed a drainage system, draining what basically was the swamp wetlands here nearby and created what is now today the Mahler National Wildlife Refuge. Water. Now this barn is not a typical vaquero design from Cali the Californios. It is more of a Midwestern design. It allows horsemen to break horses and stay out of the weather it's basically a giant corral with a roof on it thus the round barn design also to help with this design were boat rights from the midwest in 1897 fate finally caught up with pete french when another rancher neighboring rancher uh, oliver and french met each other out here in the sage country got involved in a dispute over an easement over one another's property. French promptly whipped Oliver, which was his, one of his many methods, uh, and Oliver turned around and shot French right in the back of the head, single bullet. Oliver was captured a day later, tried here in Harney County, and found not guilty by reason of self-defense. Other San Francisco investors attempted to continue to operate the Pea Ranch, the Pea French Cattle Empire. However, they decided to employ methods used in the Midwest to run their cattle out here. Rather than the Old West vaquero methods, the vaqueros soon quit or moved on and the entire operation failed.
as the whole thing fell into a state of disrepair, it went back to public land, which it stands today, and is now part of the Mahler Wildlife Refuge. The Pete French Round Barn, Mahler Wildlife Refuge, Southeast Oregon.